guys, I want to talk to you about something I believe has a 0% chance of happening. Now, I think this is going to be music to your ears. I think you're going to like what I have to say because, as always, guys, this is Molt Media, not the mass media. We're going to give you the truth here. We're going to give you facts, not fiction, and get you all up to date. All I ever ask is if you do like talking about Ripple and XRP, you know what to do. Drop an X, smash like button, and share the video. Let others around the world know what is truly happening in this digital revolution. Guys, lately I've been getting a flood of emails in regards to how much XRP do I need to retire. And so this is a tricky one and this is one that's been asked so many times in the past and there's so many variables that go into this. And so though I won't give this guy's name, I don't want to put him out there publicly without asking. I'm going to read you this email and then I'm also going to talk to you about a few rules that I think we should all live by, but then give you the facts. And talk to you about why I believe there's 0% chance of Ripple failing and XRP specifically failing as well. So let's get straight into this, guys. Good afternoon, he says. I have been following you for some time now, and you do a great job. I look forward to watching you on a daily basis. Thank you. Uh, but my big question is, do you think having 150000 XRP coins is enough in order to retire. Thank you. And so the question, is that enough to retire? Well, what I'll say first and foremost is I can't tell you how much you need to retire because I don't know how well you're trying to live in retirement. You know, some people want to earn a million dollars and earn a 10% passive income off that $1 million and can live comfortably with $100,000 a year. I think most of us can live comfortably with $100,000 a year. Now, maybe not as much or not as comfortable where I'm at in San Diego, but as a whole in the United States, if you have an income of $100,000 a year, you will probably live fairly comfortable. So at that point, you got to take a look at a target. If you have 150,000 XRP coins, which I'll be the first to say is a lot of coins, XRP coins, and is far more than the average person has, well, how high do you think XRP needs to go from the current price of where we're at around 60 cents to reach whatever target you want it to reach? You know, if you're only looking for a 10X, then this may just be right around the horizon for you. Now, with that being said, guys, I want to get in a couple rules that first I, I think we should all live by. Because here lately, guys, I've been hearing a lot of FUD, XRP investors even, that are folks that actually hold XRP fudding their own bag. So number one, never FUD your own bag, guys. And, you know, sometimes I get a hard time, which is okay. When times are tough, I get a lot of FUD in the comment section. Uh, but I'm an XRP investor as all of you are or many of you, right? And so my goal is to keep an eye on what's actually happening. Obviously know what the facts are behind the narrative that's being put forward and also understanding everything from a very reasonable standpoint. And so am I just blind to everything that happens within the ecosystem or anything negative that could happen to XRP? Absolutely not. I believe in staying up to date as we do here on the channel, staying up to date. But I also believe in being realistic. Do I see any flaws with XRP right now? I'm going to get into that in a moment. But never fudge your own bag, guys. If you hold XRP, I'm not saying just be shamelessly positive, right? You know, there's going to be hard days, and I'm not trying to knock anyone for that. But day after day being negative, especially when we know this case is about to end, these are the times we need to lift each other up, pull each other up, and move each other forward. Now, also number two, a lot of people ask me, when moon, when moon, when will XRP moon? Again, I have a pretty good idea on when I think it's going to moon, and we've gotten into that several times 
and we'll continue to get, uh, get into that as we get closer. But understanding that no one truly knows the future, you have to think, guys. Rule number two, do you think Ripple knows when XRP is going to moon with a stopwatch saying, okay, on the 13th day of August, I'm saying this jokingly, at 2 p.m., that's when we're going to moon. And I put this on X, formerly known as Twitter. Give me a follow there. It's at Malt Money. But number two, like, just know that no one truly knows. And if they tell you that XRP is going to moon in three days, so to speak, at 2 p.m., that's a blatant lie. We can take a look at technical analysis. We can take a look at the facts that I'm about to put on your radar here in just a moment. But no one is going to honestly be able to tell you exactly when it's going to moon. But we can take a look at historically what's happened. And that gives us a very good idea what's going to happen in the future. Number three, I am personally extremely grateful to Ripple for all they've done to help set us up for success. They are a powerhouse, this is very obvious, in the space promoting XRP daily. So over the years, the several years we've had Fed, uh, FUD, XRP has consistently every day grown and, be, and has been promoted by the team by the developers, by the engineers, by the leadership team. We're talking Brad Garlinghouse, David Schwartz, Monica Long. All these folks have gone nowhere, right? They are there at the round table helping us push this forward every single day. We just heard that Kamala Harris is reaching out to Ripple. And so we see who they're working with and we see the size, the powerhouse that this company is. And they tell us every single day what is happening and they are progressing every single day. So lastly, guys, now we get into the facts, right? Now we have to take a very close look at the facts. Number one, we have to understand we're a permissionless network. Anyone and everyone can join. This is what makes the XRPL so great and makes it so that we're never going to stop. We're going to continuously grow. So when people put a market cap, per se, on XRP and say, well, it's already at a 30 something X XRP is at a 30 something market cap. It can't, how much higher can it realistically go? Well, this is a ecosystem that is permissionless that the entire world can join in on. And when we see the massive amounts of partnerships, institutions, and so forth coming in, it gives us a very idea, a very good idea rather that this isn't slowing down and adoption is continuously happening every single day because what? We have hundreds of nodes globally, right? We have hundreds of engineers and developers. We have several, several years of flawless work, right? Within the network, never went down, which I'm gonna pick on Solana real quickly, has went down a few times, right? But the XRPL never has. It's done 1.8 billion transactions over that actually successfully and we're talking about transactions in three to five seconds so when we talk about where ripple and xrp go is going guys i believe there's zero percent chance that we will fail and when we take a look at retirement retiring off xrp which i do believe many of us will be able to do in time we have to take a look at those targets where do we want to be and what is it going to take to live comfortably that's all i got for you for now Turn on the notification bells. See you in the next one.